Hey guys, Rex is all here and welcome to Update Monday on the 6th of September 2021. That's right, we're in September, the final run-in for the end of the year 2021. Um, school has restarted for many children around the UK today, including the reason why my windows are currently shut, because they're currently just shouting outside, which is what children do. Um, so... I'm slowly warming and toasting. It's very strange. I woke up this morning and it was super foggy. Like, super foggy. But the sun's out. So it feels like all the heat of the fog... Like, the fog is heating heating up and just creating this furnace effect. And it's just really warm. Um, oh, I'm so British complaining about the weather. Cucumber will be proud. Talking about cucumber being proud. I got some really good news today. Super good news. I'm going to show you what happened. Certain individuals have already been informed. I just got to change my scene here. That's right. Certification of nomination for award. Be it known that. Oh god, I've gone too far. <laughs> it's the. It's not a picture. I swear, it's a real thing. It's because I got to right click. Thank God I didn't have something more incriminating afterwards. Be it known that Lord Rexasaur, for outstanding achievement, that's right, outstanding achievement in cinematography for Update Monday, the judgment has been rendered with a reference for motion pictures, first regularly established in the Los Angeles district during the year ending December 31st, 1967. That's right. It's an Academy Award. The Academy of Motion Pictures and Arts and Sciences. That's right, mother truckers. I'm about to end the video then. Let's go. Can't stop me. I am now Academy Award nominee Lord Rexasaur for the hit series Update Monday. Suck on that. Thought you can thought thought you couldn't make it. Boy, I don't need any subs or anything. Just make something with enough passion. You can make it anywhere, guys. So um Looking forward to that. It's not until next March. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Might do something special for it. Um, anyway, my week's been pretty good. Obviously, being nominated for an Academy Award is obviously going to be one of the most important things that's happened in my life. But this week's also been pretty... Well, the week I just had was ridiculous. As you can see in the background, if you watched my stream on Saturday, you would know that this has already happened. But I got a bike. It's right here for now. It's going to be outside my uh, flat normally. It's just because they're doing work and I don't particularly trust the workmen to not like wreck it. So I have a bike. I'm going to go cycling later. I've been, I went on a big ride. I said a big ride. I went on a ride on Saturday. It was nice. I learned that I'm incredibly um, too, what's the word? Like, the thing is, I used to cycle a lot when I was younger. The thing is, between being younger and being now, like 10 years has passed, and I'm nowhere near the level of fitness that I was when I was younger, thanks to many things, including not having any money, so spending it on buying lots of rubbish food so that I can actually survive, and then going to a point where I have lots of money. I don't have lots of money, but enough money so I can feed myself with shit anyway. So it's not been great. No. Um, so I need to tone myself down a little bit. What's the word that I'm looking for? Too... God, it was on the tip of my tongue. Um, either way, I'm going to be cycling regularly so that I can get fit again. But it's going to be a long journey, that's for sure. Um, so I went on Saturday, died. Um, I basically went on, like, the equivalent of what I probably, when I was, like... How old am I? 27? When I was... Uh, when I was 17... <laughs> I should, yeah, when I was 17 is probably the peak of my fitness, to be fair. Um, when I was 17, I could probably have done that in, like, 15 minutes. I did it in an hour, because I had to stop several times. Um, but it was pleasant. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting more into it. Didn't do it yesterday, because I felt like it would be pushing me too much. Um, and th the issue of where I live is that I start on a downhill slope, regardless of where I go which means I end on a massive uphill slope. Like, it's not like, oh, you know, gentle uphill. Ho, ho. No, no, it's like that gradient. It's, it's insane. So, um, 
it's a bit of a tough one. But I'll 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 just need to get I just need to keep doing it and get more into it and then I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with my bike. I got a, I got it for a steal basically. Um, it was I went to the bike shop and they were like, "This is uh, bike shop owner who gives zero information." I think I spoke about it last update money, but yeah, gives zero information that was useful other than go online and have padded leggings. So went online, saw there was a massive sale on, so I got this bike for really cheap compared to what its actual price was. Um, in fact, my bike and all of the equipment that I got for it is cheaper than this thing. <laughs> That's right, this is more expensive than this and everything around it, which is insane, because RRP price, which is the price that they would be going for without being on sale, this would be way more expensive than that. I just got a really good deal on it. So, pretty happy with that in terms of money, but also in terms of everything else. Um, also... I can happily announce that I will be at EGX 2020, <clears throat> 2021. I will be going to EGX at the start of November, October. Let's not get the dates wrong now, Paul. Um, so that'll be fun. I'm going to be seeing Kukumba and Ki and Hula. Um, it's a shame that Dragon and Panda won't be there, but it's understandable because there's a lot of shit going on. And also it is going all the way to London to then spend time in a convention and they've got a house. So that's more than all of us can say, oh, except Ki. Who's apparently also got a house. They just give them for free in Northern Ireland? Is that what they do? Um, <laughs> don't know why I did it that way. Anyway. Um, yeah. What else? I can't remember. Oh, D&D. &D. Oh, dude. So I did the terrible decision of restarting D&D &D last week. I've not stopped since. <laughs> I've just been doing prep work, talking to people to try and get the characters sorted, to get the background sorted, to get all the stuff that I need to do, redo some character sheets, redo some maps, redo some rules. I love it. I've missed it, um, but it is it is a lot. Also, in terms of that, I've been playing a ton of Gladius, um, which is a game I spoke about a few update months ago. This week, I basically hit my head at a brick wall that was one of the factions, the Tau Empire, because bloody hell were they difficult. Um, it was half because the AI kept getting really good spawns against me, which meant I was at a disadvantage, and also because just the Tau, it was hard for me to get my head around the, the, how the Tau play, just because of the way in which their, their faction bonuses happen. Um, basically they get a massive bonus if they've only got one of each type of building but any duplicates reduce that bonus by like a significant amount so if you've got too many of the same type you lose a ton of loyalty but if you've only got one you get a ton of bonus loyalty and it's like it's really it was it was difficult for me to wrap my head around until i finally sorted it out and then it just i, I got through and then yesterday i basically played all day um other than a little bit of dnd prep that i did played through as the eldar which was definitely nowhere near as problematic as the Tau. But it was also so slow. Um, not because it was a slow play. I, I don't know. I just, the issue that I have with the game is that basically there are two victory types. So in Civ you have tons because you've got your science victory, you've got your culture victory, you have domination victory, your um, diplomacy victory. In here, you've only got two. You've got the story victory, or you've got the domination victory. Domination victory is basically what I go for every time, because the story victories are insane. And if you can't, you, you can't be at war with people whilst trying to do the story. Because the story, periodically, you get two basically... You get three things. The main sort of thing is bring... Um, Build a type of building, create a type of unit, get unit to zone A or B. That progresses a story, and then you either get um, repulse the invasion and kill all invaders, or a huge base will spawn, kill the base. The base spawn ones are pretty easy, because it's all secluded in one area. The invasion ones are fucking the worst. Every two turns, new units spawn, and depending on where you are in the story, they're going to be like mid-game to late-game units, and the late-game units are just fucking annoying. Not because, at that point, when I do them, I'm already beyond the late game, I've only got, I've got like s several of the late game units, so I'm basically invincible. But it's so time consuming because they spawn in random locations around your bases, and there's not a, a there's not a counter for how many rounds you've got to survive. It's like, oh, I've killed everyone this turn, and 
Fuck, there's another wave. Kill everyone. Okay, I've killed the last one. Uh, no victory screen. Keep going. And it takes like 50 turns. It's fucking frustrating. But yeah, anyway, that was a rant. Um, sorry. I, it just really frustrates me. It's such bad gameplay. Because the invasion... Like, I get it. The invasion is fun, but don't make it that long. Or just make it so that there's more of them coming and they actually attack you, not just wander around and do fuck all. The base ones are really fun because you've got like a tiny base and then you've got like 30 to 40 different units. Um, think like if we're talking about Civ, you have like a city state that just appears near your borders and then you have like, I don't know, 20 artillery, 20 infantrymen. Like that's a lot. And you're like, fuck, how am I going to deal with all this? Um, okay, I've got to go there, I've got to pick out these ones. And obviously there's a lot more unit variety in 40k. Um, but yeah, it's. It's time consuming, but it's a lot of fun. I'm happy I'm done with them. I've only got three races left, I think. Uh, I've got the Orcs, the Tyranids, and the... Wait, is that it? Oh boy, I only have two left. I've been playing a lot. <laughs> Awkward. Um, yeah, it's good fun. It's fun, but it's frustrating. It's like, I, I'm sure everyone who's played video games knows what I mean when it gets to a point where... You know, you basically won the campaign, you're just waiting for the timer to tick down, and it's just doing chores rather than actually playing the game. But I am enjoying the game, the building up to the point where you're rolling over everyone is super fun. But yeah, anyway, moving on. Um, I also, there's like what a tank shit happening, but no one gives a shit about that. Streaming, I streamed on Saturday, we played some more Salasta Crown of the Magister, we got into such a terrible fight. Oh my god, we got into such a terrible fight. But I learned a lot from it, which was nice. Um, we actually had to restart the fight as well. Um, the game itself is super, super fun. Um, the combat is probably the... I don't know, all of it's really good. It's really well presented, and it's not done in a way that I'm like overwhelmed by. It. But also, I don't know how much of that is because I'm a D&D &D player, so I know exactly what's happening here. I know the way in which the game, the Dungeon Master, is telling the story, so I know how to interact with it. I love the way the automatic dialogue happens, so you don't have to actually roll any dice to then see if you pass a certain check, it just does it for you, like, right there. So, in one of the most annoying things about um, Baldur's Gate 3, which I'm going to compare it to, because that's basically what they are, the comparisons of two games which are basically doing the same thing, they're both taking the D&D um, rule set and they're making games with it, presenting it in completely different ways. Baldur's Gate is really annoying because when you get to a point where you can make a check, it asks you to roll the dice. It's like, click this button. It's like, that's unnecessary. Just roll it. Just roll it, mate. It would be interesting, maybe, if it's like, okay, I have to choose between these characters to roll. But in Salasta, it just rolls it for you. It tells you which character is rolling, and then it tells you. But it's based on their background. It's based on their... Um, their class and it's based on their like what they've already got proficiencies in it's really well presented i really really enjoy it all my characters have feel like they have individual personalities because of the backgrounds and the um alignment charts that i've given them so they have actual interactions that feel real um although i do have a kind one of my characters alfie who's my sorceress she's a bit wishy-washy like because she's got i think it's because she's got a commoner background um but with like a noble lineage because she's she's got dragon lineage so sometimes she'll talk like down she'll talk like down to noblemen because she thinks she's a noble but she'll like talk up to commoners because she, she's a commoner it's, it's weird but it's really funny but yeah I'm really enjoying it we got through a dungeon we got through a big fight where we got some cultists we just got to a big library which we're going to explore it's going to be really really good I'm really enjoying it really enjoying the combat we just hit level 3 as well so it's unlocked a lot of cool stuff for us. Um, yeah, it's really good. I, I like I've played not a huge amount of it, but I recommend it so much. It's also fucking gorgeous. Um, the art is gorgeous. The map is gorgeous. The game itself isn't like spectacular, but it works in the art style really well. Um, like the way in which it presents everything. It's done so in such a similar art style that it doesn't matter that there's low texture. Like I was showing, Jeffco sh uh, showed up for part of it, and we just did a um, roadside encounter. And the roadside encounter wasn't anything special. Like the map wasn't special. Like you had 2D textures floating kind of thing. That was it. But if it looked 
it looks exactly perfect because that's not where the focus is the focus is on the combat and the magic and what's happening and it looks really good um so yeah strongly recommend solaster crown of the magister if you want to see me play more it'll be saturday or sunday this weekend um tuesday and thursday i will be continuing my reading of lord of the rings fellowship of the ring we are in lothlorien now the next chapter which will be tomorrow which is tuesday we're going to be doing the mirror of galadriel which i know is a great chapter um, we last week we just had the bridge of Khazad-dûm, um, and then the traveling into uh, Lothlorien and being guided around by Haldir. It was crazy week. the The bridge of Khazad-dûm was such a good chapter. Like oh my god, so good. Yeah, that's it. Koa, who is the person that I watch the most streams of, sorry, um, is still away. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to watch cucumber streams. <laughs> I'm joking, I love you man. Um but yeah, I'm really excited for Cucumber Stream, although he's got Crusader Kings tonight. Ugh. Um but his um his New Vegas playthrough is really fun. Although it crashes a lot. It's crazy how unstable that game is. But hey ho, it's old games for you. Anyway, I've rambled on for more than enough, but people love my rambling so much that I've been nominated for an Academy Award. <laughs> Sorry, it just it makes me laugh every time. But yeah, so going forward, I expect in anybody's stream that I show up in to be called, is that Academy Award nominee Lord Rexasaur from Academy Award nominated Update Monday? <laughs> uh, right, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that you have a really good week. Um, and I will talk to you over the course of the week please show up to my streams it'd be really good fun um or don't like do what the fuck you want i guess um but yeah have a good one guys ta-ra